and this key fits that lock. You just unscrew it like you're using a screwdriver and you pop it open. Once you get it unscrewed, it kind of falls towards you. So all you have to do, all I do, use my knee to prop it up, move the hose out of the way, let it fall just a little bit. So then once you get it, you have to lift up on it just a little bit. And don't forget where your are because those are important. In a windy day, try and set it so it doesn't blow away and hit a customer's car. The first thing you'll notice is the shear valves. The shear valves should be anchored to the concrete so that they don't move. If you ever have an incident that you need to shut off fuel, Right here is the easiest way to do it. You just reach in, you pop that piece up, and the whole thing will shut off, and there's a butterfly valve in there. It shuts off flow of fuel right here, so nothing goes up into the further parts of this. So activate it. This piece is supposed to melt if there's a fire in there before anything else, and then cause this to close so that if there's a fire, you don't have a flame shooting straight up in the sky. If you have a single poppet one, it just activates down here, it shuts off the flow of fuel. If you have a double poppet one, it'll activate down here, shut off the flow of fuel, and it'll activate up here and keep fuel from draining out of your dispenser if your dispenser falls over. This is the shear valve section of the piping under the dispenser. The silver flap inside the shear valve is up when the flapper valve is in the open position. When the shear valve is activated, the valve slams shut stopping the flow of fuel from the submersible turbine pump. Having the shear valve tested annually is a federal requirement. This picture shows a shear valve that has been redneck engineered, not allowing the equipment to function as designed. When you're putting these covers back on, it's just the opposite. You slot it in, make sure you get those over that little metal piece that sticks out there on both sides, and then it just falls into place. You close it up, Put your foot against it, find your screws, screw it back together.